Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 366. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 358 to 369. Hey, in this trick, we have percent of income. Each one of these accounts, these are expenses. Here are the percent of every dollar spent. This expense uh, uses three pennies or three percent. And what we have is we have an allocation amount for a particular period. And we have maybe these accounts that we're interested in. Now, we don't want to do the individual calculation 3% times that, 6.5% times that, 15% times that, and then add them. We want to do it all in one formula. So we're going to use a sum product and sum if construction. Now. Uh, the sum product is just makes it easy because we're going to have an array. We're really going to use the sum if function. And sum if is pretty straightforward. You give it a range. We want to look up the accounts, comma, and it's expecting a single criteria. Now, right now, this sum if part, if we did just that one account, comma, and then the sum range here. That's how you usually use the uh, sum if to look up, uh, to, to add, uh, given a certain criteria. But the problem is we have one account number, and there's only one here. So really, uh, we'd use a, a lookup or something. But watch this. Now we're going to highlight, and we're going to highlight a few rows below. And now we've given this criteria that's expecting a single criteria, we've given it a bunch, a range. That's what makes the sum if a, an array. Now, if I close parentheses on this and highlight all this, you can see that it will actually return. Mm -mm -mm. So I'm going to hit F9. It returns those three values. It's, in essence, uh, summing them, but it, it won't do anything with this array of values unless you put it inside of a sum function and control shift enter or I'm going to control Z. We're going to put it inside of a sum product, which will allow us to put this formula in without control shift enter. I'll control enter. You can see it didn't put the curly brackets, which means it's not an array. I'm going to control shift tilde to get rid of all that formatting. Ah, 0.245. Is that what we really should have gotten? Uh, yeah. 11, 21, 24.5. So that's a tricky way to look up and add. It's like adding lookup. But really what we want is we then just want to multiply this times that 0.25 because we're trying to figure out of this allocation amount how much are these three accounts going to use up for a particular project. Now, the nice thing is we could have data validation and change these. We could even add some other ones down to the bottom. And this automatically updates. So that's some lookup adding for accounting. All right, we'll see you next trick.